الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أهل السنة والجماعة and individuals who adhere to the methodology and minhaj of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which every Muslim is ordered to adhere to. But there's no excuses. No matter how much it feels good and how much you believe it's good and how much it conforms to your desires to, to listen to this individual or listen to that individual or to sit in the lectures of this individual who makes you feel good. But we are ordered by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We're ordered by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah with the proper understanding, with the the understanding of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rabbi Allahu Taala and Majmaeen. This is what we're ordered to. So that means our foundation in understanding the religion must be intact. Meaning, we must know who Allah is. We must know who the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is and his 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 sunnah in order to follow it. How can you follow the sunnah if you don't know what the sunnah is? If you don't, if you can't define the sunnah, if you don't know any ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and you don't know what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam disliked and what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam commanded, and you don't know what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam detested, and you don't know what he felt he he ordered us that was mustahab or or uh, recommended. If you don't know these things. How can you distinguish between the truth and falsehood? But rather, anyone who speaks to you, you will take from them. Because we don't want to be like the people the Prophet ﷺ described in the hadith of Hudayfa, where he said that there would be people, that there would be people calling to the gates of the hellfire. Who are these people? These people are known, are people from amongst the Muslims. They're not people who are outside of Islam, necessarily. These are people who are in the fold of Islam, but they're calling to the gates of the hellfire. Why? Because their foundation was not the foundation of the correct understanding of the religion of Islam. يقول الشيخ عبد الرحمن السعدي رحمه الله تعالى فأهل السنة محبة السالمون من البدع الذين تمسكوا بما كان عليه النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وأصحابه وأصحابه في أصول كلها أصول التوحيد والرسالة وقدر ومسائل الإيمان وغيرها وغيرهم من الخوارج المعتزلة وجهمية وقدرية ورافضة ومرجية ومرجية ومن تفرع عنهم كلهم من أحل بدع بدع Al-Ittiqadiyya The Shaykh, Shaykh Abd al-Rahman Al-Sa'di Ibn Abi Bakr Ibn Muhammad Ibn Saq Al-Din Abi Bakr Ibn Uthman uh, Imam Sa'di Abd al-Rahman Al-Nasr Al-Sa'di Rahimahullah Ta'ala said Then Ahl al-Sunnah Is completely free from innovation, from bid'ah. Those who adhere to what the the uh, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions were upon in a soul, in their foundation, in their in their foundation totally, their entire foundation of understand the religion, a soul of tawheed, the foundation of uh, of monotheism, warisala, and the uh, the the message the, the the message that was delivered the messages that were delivered and the qadr the divine destiny wa masaila iman and the issues of iman and other than that from the foundations of the religion and the opposite of them or other than them is the khawarij and the mu'tazila and the jahmiya and the qadariya and the Rafida and the Murji and the Murjia. Those groups or sects which uh, those groups and sects and those who split from them took their foundation from those groups, from amongst Ahla Bidah, from amongst the people of innovation in their 
belief in their creed. So the Shaykh here is giving us an understanding that Ahl Sunnah adheres to the foundation principles of the religion in, in, in its entirety. We can't say, well, I believe that I believe in the rubi of Allah, but I, I uh, deny some of the names and attributes of Allah. No, you can't say that. You have to take the whole foundation of what it means to follow the Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rububiyya, and his uluhiyya, and then his asma'i wa sifat. We have to follow the complete package that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam was sent with, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in his book, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu wa sallam, what they believed and what they were on in their creed. This is what Ahl Sunnah believes. This is what a Sunni believes. This is what a Sunni adheres to. This is the minhaj and the methodology of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, which we're all ordered to follow and not to make any changes in the religion or take any shortcuts, regardless of Tawheed, regardless of whether it's in the, uh, the, the, the message, regardless of whether it is belief in the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to believe in it as the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained it to us, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in all the issues of Iman, whether it be in believing in Allah, in His angels, in His books, in the Qadr, in the, uh, in the Day of Judgment, all of those things, all of those things we believe in in its entirety without taking any shortcuts and without any uh, deviations in such. And this is in opposition to those groups like the Khawarij, those who uh, declare other Muslims to be non-Muslims for falling into the major sins. Or they believe in rebelling against the Muslim rulers and attacking them and uh, calling the youth to rebel against them. Or the Mu'tazila and the Jahmiya, those groups who made, uh, who negated the names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Mu'tazila, they believe that people, the people of major sin, that they were between two places. They were neither going to they were neither going to the hellfire, fire, nor were they going to Jen, uh, nor were they in uh, Jannah, but yet they were between those two places. They had a whole new category, which was not from the religion of Islam. Or the Qadriya, those people who deny the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or the Rafida, like we see in uh, all over the world, these people who hate the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They curse them. They curse Aisha, our mother. رضي الله تعالى عنها ورضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين on all the companions of the Prophet ﷺ. These people, these evil, wicked creatures who are rafida, who hate the companions of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, who hate Ahl Sunnah, who hate the Sunni Muslims, those people who spend their wealth and attack Muslims and kill Muslims and put bombs in Muslims' mock masajid, those people, those evil people and their evil beliefs who make takfir of of Ahlul Sunnah and the companions of the Prophet ﷺ and other than this and believe the Qur'an has mistakes and other deviant evil beliefs. Those people also are the people of Ahlul Bid'ah who you should be aware of and you should never take knowledge from them, them never sit with them. And then the Murjia, those people who believe Iman is constant, the man does not fluctuate or that the person who that actions do not harm a person's iman. Meaning if you commit a major sin, that your iman is the same. You're still a believer. You're still a complete believer. Naam, Ahl Sunnah believes that if a person does a major sin, they're still a believer. But their iman is weak. That is evidence that their iman is weak. Your iman fluctuates. It goes up by doing uh, obedience to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Prophet sallallahu And it goes down by disobedience. But the Murjiya believe that no, you could do anything you want or leave any actions, you could leave the prayer, you could do anything, as long as you call yourself a Muslim in your heart, then you're a believer. No, this is incorrect. And all of these groups are groups of innovation that we should avoid at all costs. And that we should learn our religion so that we can make sure and hope and pray that Allah blesses us to die upon the usul and the minhaj and the methodology of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the Ahlul Ahl Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the people who follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those people and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the hellfire. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad.